Welcome to this video about Against the Storm. This is the Queen's Viceroy I Simulate. I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you are also a simulation game lover. After finishing the two tutorial settlements, we are back in the smoldering city where we can buy upgrades. We earn 20 mushrooms from the tutorials. I'm going to spend them on the Obsidian Archive Level 1, which unlocks Deeds, and Level 2, which will give us 20% Citadel resources whenever we finish a settlement. You probably don't understand what I just talked about. No worries, I promise you will as we finish this tutorial cycle and work on our very first settlement. We have to start from the smoldering city. At the moment, we cannot venture very far. Shall we pick a tower near the royal outpost or the fertile grounds? Let's pick the royal outpost. There are a few choices to make before we embark. I will explain them later. Okay, here we are. We have 9 villages, 3 beavers and 6 lizards. This depends on which caravan I pick before hitting the embark button. I prefer having beavers at the beginning as they are good at woodcutting, very important in this game. The beavers now have 11 resolve points and the lizards 9. Keeping the villagers happy raises their resolve. When their resolve drops to zero, villagers will begin to leave. These are the food, consumables, building materials, and fuel in our settlement now. They came with the caravan I pick and what I spent my embarkation bonus on. We are now in the drizzle season of the first year. Hostility level of the forest is zero. I think there are three seasons in a year, drizzle, clearance and storm. Every year new villages join our settlement and we can pick a cornerstone. Cornerstones are mostly positive, sometimes mix modifiers to help us run our settlement better. As time passes, we get more villages and discover glades. The forest becomes more hostile. Impact of this hostility is explained in the forest mysteries of this map. Heavy drops give spark to production bonus. Invigorating winds make 9 villages move 20% faster. Looming darkness reduces global resolve by 4 during the storm season. Lightning is only active when the forest hostility level reaches 3. I hope we don't have to deal with that, but if we do, we need to pay copper ore or else 3 buildings will get destroyed. The blue bar is our reputation. We succeed when we get 11 reputation points. They are earned by maintaining high resolve among our villages, by completing glade events, and by delivering orders, which we don't see now but will be given to us regularly. In total, there are 12 orders. And then the red bar here shows the queen's impatience. It ticks up as time passes until we deliver an order. If Her Majesty's impatience hits 12, we lose. However, it's sometimes beneficial to let Her Majesty wait because her impatience counters the forest hostility growth. We need to find a good balance. There are different buildings we can construct in our settlement. Roads, resource gathering camps, food production buildings, shelters, industry buildings. For example, if you want to make pies, you will need a cam to gather the required resource for your mill to make flour, and then your bakery can use the flour plus meat made available by another supply chain to make pies. Next are the city buildings such as the warehouse, hearth, and trading post. Lastly, we have decorations. It's not like we are free to build anything. We need to unlock the blueprint. When we start, we can pick three, and then every time we gain a reputation point, we can unlock one more. I hope I have given you an idea what we are trying to do here. So now, let's get started. The first thing I do is to see where I can place a second half. We will eventually need that because halts reduce the forest hostility, and we cannot build halts too close to each other. Knowing where our second half will be, we know in which direction we should expand our settlement. And then let me build rows around the existing half. Villagers regularly come to the hearth to take breaks. They can move faster on roads, so having one around the hearth definitely helps. I'm placing the woodcutter's camp here. Please cut down these trees so we know what's in this glade. I always set the mode to only mark the trees. I don't want woodcutters to unexpectedly cut into the wrong glades at the wrong time. We have enough wood so I can build a shelter here. Each shelter accommodates three villages. Needless to say, shelters keep villages happy. Okay, woodcutter's camp is ready. I'm assigning the three beavers to this camp as they are good at it. There are eggs available here. We should build a scavenger's camp to gather them. We can pick a cornerstone now, gain one Asian tablet for every two completed glade events, or gain three plant fiber per minute. 
free fiber is better. Two lizards will work in the scavenger's camp. Now we also receive our first set of orders. We can easily build 35 row pavements, gather 35 woods, and we already have 6 lizards in our settlement. I'd pick the wood delivery order as it will reward us 2 more villages. At this stage, we need more villages to work in the settlement. The second order, I'd go for 3 packs. It's relatively easier and the reward is okay. Additional grain every yield. The third order, let's make 3 packs of crops. It will give us 10 embers so we can buy things from the trading post later, after we build one. Shall we pick a blueprint, cookhouse, carpenter, and kiln? Okay, let me see the beavers and the lizards' needs. Different species have different needs so we need different things in the settlements to keep them happy. I think the cookhouse will be good for us. The lizards like skewers and the beavers like biscuits. Next blueprints, I will wait until we discover more glades. Depending on what resources those glades contain, we can decide which camp blueprints to unlock. As we get more wood from the woodcutter's camp, we can build more shelters to accommodate our villages. In addition, I'd put four comfort decorations here. In this glade, we have this small swamp wheat field. To gather these 15 grains, we need a forager's camp. I'm not sure if we should unlock that, since the available quantity is small. Let's cut into this adjacent glade first and see what's in there. Okay, the four comfort decorations are in place and our heart is upgraded to encampment level. This gives two global resolve points. You can see the village's resolve going up. Time to build a second woodcutter's camp to speed up glade discovery. Now we have enough wood to deliver the first order. Let's do that to get two more villages. We gain one reputation point, meaning we can unlock one more blueprint. The crease impatience goes down by one, and the forest hostility goes up. We can afford it as there's still some buffer before the hostility level reaches one. The two new villages can build a stone cutters camp here and then get us some stones. The second glade is discovered. It has a small abandoned cache which contains a reward of 0.5 reputation points. However, we don't have enough tools to open it. This has to wait. By the way, we can freely move the woodcutters camp so that the woodcutters can work on different areas in the map. The storm season hits. Minus 40 global resolve. It's okay. The villagers are not upset enough to leave yet. Here we can see what elements are impacting the forest hostility. We have discovered two regular glades, 10 points. 11 villages as 22 points. 6 woodcutters means 48 points. 1 hearth gives minus 30 and the greens 1 impatience point minus 15. After the storm, a new year starts. We have newcomers. Let's take the group with 2 beavers and 1 human. The goods they bring, 3 coals, 5 herbs and 3 clothes are better than 15 stones. And the cornerstone. Our houses have room for one more villager. Or to choose one blueprint from all available blueprints. Let's go for crowded houses. Um, actually I think I should have picked the other one. Bummer. Too late. It's good we have more workers now. We can start working on the other orders. First step is to build this crude workstation to make planks, fabric, and bricks. Workers will need materials from the warehouse so it's better to place it close to the warehouse. For now, please make two planks, two fabric, and two bricks. And yes, you can use stones to make bricks. Another glade is discovered. We have this small encampment here which we have the resource to investigate. I'd pick the new people reward. We still need more workers. More orders. Remember, there's a cache we cannot open because we don't have tools. This happy beaver's order will reward us 10 tools. Let's go for it. I want to build a cookhouse. We cannot make biscuits yet as we don't have any facility to produce flour. But we can start with skewers. It needs 8 planks and 4 bricks to build. Let me tell the crude workstation to produce more. To deliver more orders, let me build this makeshift post. Again, it should sit close to the warehouse. We need to make 5 packs of crops, 2 packs of provisions, and 2 packs of building materials. Since we have found fertile soil now, I'm unlocking these plantation blueprints that will allow us to produce berries and plant fiber on those soil. Next blueprints, buildings with 3 stars next to a product is always good. It means it can produce that product using the least amount of resource. I'm unlocking the smokehouse. Humans and lizards love jerky. Let's place the plantation building here so we can use this farmland. I see berries and herbs in this newly discovered glade. Both need a herbalist camp. It's good I have waited until this moment to pick the last blueprints. 
herbalist can please. I was planning to build a cookhouse, but now I think I should build a smokehouse first. We don't need pottery or incense at this point. Please only make jerky for the humans and lizards to enjoy. The queen is impatient enough to keep the forest hostility in check. We can afford to deliver another order now to unlock another blueprint. Lumber mill is good. It uses less wood to make planks, and we will need a lot of planks. Workers in our crude workstation should stop making planks, as this task will be taken over by our lumber mill. Our smokehouse has made jerky. You can see resolve of humans and lizards go up. Let's make the lizards even happier by building a cookhouse. It makes skewers, which is also their favorite. When resolve is high, the blue bar slowly grows. We gain another reputation point, this time from having high resolve. What blueprints can we pick? Clothier is another great building. It makes 11 clothing with only one fabric. Very cost effective. Both humans and beavers need clothing, so that will be another boost to their resolve. What should we do next? Let's build a trading post. This will be something for our next episode. We will also cover dangerous glades and hopefully our second settlement. 